what's up guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are enjoying your day so in today's video i'm going to be trying out this glitter poly gel kit from Burano. i was super excited to receive this because if you don't know me by now i love glitter and i'm sure you guys do too so let's just jump right into it this is what the kit looks like when you open it up Burano definitely has their own unique style when it comes to packaging and the first thing you get is a little instruction booklet that shows you how to apply poly gel in three different ways you also do get a little warranty card for like a free replacement within a year and some nail forms you also get a set of butterfly glitters um, that are perfect for the spring and summer there's 12 different little butterflies like holographic and iridescent ones in all different colors so they're super cute you also get some dual forms in 12 different sizes and you also do get some nail tips that come in 10 different sizes with this kit so the really cool thing about um, this is that you can apply the poly gel in three different ways like I said you can apply it with the dual forms nail forms or the nail tips so if you're a beginner and you're looking to get into poly gel this would definitely be a really nice starter kit because they literally include everything you need and this is a slip solution it is a 30 milliliter bottle it does have a non-spill cap which is also really nice and there's even a little dabbing dish which is really unique about Burano is that they actually include a dabbing dish with like all of their kits. Not a lot of brands do that. And I feel like that's really nice because people need something to put their slip solution in. You also get a 7.3 milliliter top coat and then a base coat. The cool thing about the base is that it is a base coat, nail glue, and slip solution. You also get a 100, 180 grit nail file and then a little dual ended gel brush one side has like the little spatula and the other side has the gel brush so this is the side that you would apply the poly gel with and then on the other side you would use that to like put the poly gel on your nail if that makes any sense and you also do get eight different color poly gels and these are all 15 milliliter so yeah there's definitely a lot of colors in this kit and i'm going to be swatching all of them for you but this is what they look like super cute packaging so yeah let's just jump right into the swatches these poly gels don't have any names they're just numbered like one through eight so basically i'm just going to be swatching them in number order starting with number one and so on i'm also using my little nail art wheel from sally's beauty supply i ran out of my cute stiletto swatch sticks but i'm not mad at this nail art wheel though it's actually a lot faster to swatch on this nail art like wheel thing um, rather than doing like each individual swatch stick i wonder if they have these in like different shapes I'm gonna have to like look online because it is like a lot faster just to like swatch each one like right down the line rather than like picking up each one i don't know but anyways this poly gel is really soft and easy to work with um and i really do like all the colors one thing i did notice though when i actually was applying it onto my nails which you'll see later on in the video is that because it's so soft I felt like when I tried to use the slip solution to apply it onto the nail, it kept like sticking to my brush and wouldn't really like glide down as easily. So I did end up using the base gel as a slip solution for like majority of the colors that I did put on my nails. I felt like the base gel um, kind of just like glided the product down the nail like way smoother. Of course, like if my brush did get like gunked up and stuff, I would just like dip it a little bit into the slip solution to like get some of that like gel off of it and then just continue and this is what all the colors look like after curing for 60 seconds and i did go ahead and apply the top gel to all of them from the kit so yeah i really do like all the colors and if you guys are interested in this kit all the links will be down in the description box but yeah let's just jump right into the tutorial um, I did go ahead and prep my nails off camera and apply some nail tips. Um, I do have the acrylic on my nails, just like towards the tip of the nail, just so that I have something to file down to. 
um, so I don't like go down to my natural nails since I change them so much. So I did go in with a layer of dehydrator and two coats of primer. I'm using Mia Secret as always and Young Nails Protein Bond. Now I'm going in with a layer of the base gel from the kit. This is going to um, give the poly gel something to grip onto and also protect your natural nails from staining. So you definitely want to apply that base gel. And I'm gonna cure that for 60 seconds. By the way, links to everything that I use um, are down below. If you click my Amazon store, like my nail tips, my nail files, like my dehydrator and primer, like pretty much everything I use for nail prep or whatever else I'm using is pretty much in my Amazon store. So now I'm going to be going in with these nail decals. I got these off of Etsy last year and I was looking for them a while ago on the computer but I couldn't really find them and I don't remember who the seller was um, because it doesn't really say on them so sorry about that but these are actually made for shorter nails um, but I still want to use them. The theme was kind of like bad doll theme, as you can see the Barbie was on there. But I kind of already did Barbie nails, so I didn't really want to do another Barbie set. Um, so I just decided to use like the little money like decals um, and just do like a money set because I haven't really done that on my channel surprisingly. <laughs> so yeah, I'm kind of late to the trend, but it's all good. Um, so yeah, I'm just doing my own little version of it. and since these are shorter decals. I'm just like cutting out the pieces I want to use um, and just placing them in water. You really don't need to leave them in the water for that long. Um, maybe like 20 seconds and then literally they're good to go. You just want to take them out with like some tweezers and place them on a paper towel um, to get some of that excess water off. Then I do go in with a base gel on the nails that I'm going to be applying the decals to. Um, and just placing the nails into the gel. Um, they stay on the nails a lot better that way. So as you can see, I'm just sliding the decal right off of the backing. And it is a little bit big, like going across the nail. So if that ever happens, you can just take some scissors and like trim off the excess to fit your nail. Um, you know, they never fit like too perfectly or whatever. So yeah, I just trimmed off the excess. You don't have to worry about getting it like right close to the nail or anything like that because when you do file in the end, it's going to come off like either way. So don't like spend too much time trying to get the cut like too perfect because it can always get filed off in the end and now I'm taking like little pieces of like the Louis Vuitton print and placing those on the nail along with like more of the little pink money Now I'm just going to apply a top coat over the decals and this is basically going to create a seal over the decals so that when I go in with like my glitters and my poly gel I don't like mess them up or like crinkle them up or anything. So yeah I always do that and then just go over them with my glitters just to be on the safe side because you don't want to spend all that time applying your decals and then like you go to brush like over them and then like take off the color or like make a little dent in them or something like that because that can happen. So yeah, I'm using shade number four, which is that 
fine like purple glitter and as you can see when I went to start like patting the poly gel in um, it started to like stick to my brush it wouldn't really glide across the nail like I wanted it to so I applied a little bit of the base gel on top of it and then it just went on really smoothly so yeah basically I'm applying that color like in between the empty spaces and I did brush a little bit too much over the tip so I'm removing some of that and no I don't recommend using your finger to do that but it doesn't really bother me so I don't care but yeah you might want to use something else but that was all I had and I didn't really want to get like a paper towel because it was too far away and I was being lazy but yeah anyways I decided to use some of the rose gold butterflies and then later on I do end up using some of the pink iridescent ones but these butterflies are so pretty and for some reason these nails are giving me like a 90s vibe in a way I don't know why but yeah they kind of do I feel like everything I do ends up giving me that 90s vibe but that's okay because I'm here for it I'm a 90s baby all day every day so it will never get old and now um I'm going in with the pink shade which is number two and I'm applying that to the nail bed on the ring finger and I'm basically going to be fading that down into like the little money thing kind of like an ombre at first I was going to go in with the purple glitter on this nail but I accidentally picked up the wrong color but I actually do like the way it turned out it was a good save um, so yeah I actually did like the way they turned out and I decided to just use these two colors on the entire set I'm also going in with some of the glitter at the tip of the nail and along the side basically filling in all the empty areas and adding more butterflies then I'm gonna go ahead and cure in my lamp On the next two nails, I'm going to be taking some more of that Louis Vuitton print decal and cutting it in half and placing the strips at the tip of those two nails to make it look like, you know, a cute little Louis Vuitton tipped nail. I don't know, I just thought it was really cute. And on the middle finger, I'm going to be applying that pink shade and kind of like fading it into the tip. So majority of the nail is pink with like the little print at the tip of the nail. Um, I'm also going to be applying another decal to that one later on with some glitters. And basically on the other nail, I'm gonna be applying um, another decal to that one as well and more glitters. I was kind of just like thinking of things as I go along. I didn't really have, you know, a set plan in mind as you could see. I'm just like adding in stuff here and there but I feel like sets turn out the best when you don't like overthink them you just go with the flow if you feel what I'm saying so yeah I'm doing that um, and I do seal in the um, decals again
Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and encapsulate all the nails. You want to encapsulate nails like this so that you don't file through the design when you go to like file shape and buff. Plus the nails are pretty thin, so I'm using the clear to build up the structure. Basically, I just squeeze the amount of poly gel I need onto the nail. I'm pretty good at eyeballing it. You can apply it with a spatula on the other end of the brush, but I just prefer to do it this way. It's like way easier. Um, and I always start by the cuticle when I'm applying poly gel and just work side to side down the nail. Um, and that pretty much gives you a really nice apex as long as you squeeze out the right amount of product and you squeeze out enough. Um, you can always go in with a second layer if you don't feel like using so much poly gel at one time. This one I did have to use the base gel with as well. It just worked a lot easier with the clear and I was only doing like two nails at a time because this was really soft and it seemed like it was going to run into the cuticle a little bit. So to prevent that, I kind of just like did a little flash cure.
And now I'm just gonna go ahead and shape up the nails. I'm using my Melody Susie 2-in-1 e-file and dust collector as always. I really like this dust collector and e-file if you haven't noticed since I've been using it like literally every video. I'm also using it with a medium grit ceramic safety bit. I've mentioned this a couple times as well in my other videos, but I've really been liking the ceramic drill bits lately, mainly because they don't heat up as much on your nails as the metal ones, but they still take off like a good amount of product and like I feel like they're a lot gentler than the metal ones, I don't know. And they are a lot easier to clean, like they don't get like um, kind of like faded like the other ones where the color fades off of it. I really hate that. So yeah, if you guys haven't tried ceramic drill bits yet, you're definitely sleep. You gotta get on the ceramic drill bits. I'm telling you, it's a game changer. Um, so some of the drill bits I use are linked in my Amazon store. So check that out if you're interested. And I also go in with a ceramic cuticle bit as well after this. But right now I'm basically just smoothing out the nails. I'm going around the cuticle, taking as much bulk off as I can and just like smoothing over the nail, like all the way down the nail, also tapering in the sides. And I do file underneath my nails. So if you're seeing a lot of plastic coming up, it's because I file away um, a lot of the C curve because these nail tips have a deep C curve and I'm just like not into that deep C curve look. So I file some of it away to get like more of a straight shape. That's just my preferred preference. So if you're wondering why my nails look different than the nail tips that I use, that's why, because I kind of like customize them to make them, you know, to my liking. And now I'm going in with my cuticle bit on a low speed, just to clean around the cuticle and seal around the cuticle. After that, I'm going to go ahead and just shape up the nails. I'm doing a long, like, tapered square shape. So I'm holding my file super straight and filing on each side, like, an even number of times. And then I slightly, like, angle my file in to file the tip in a little bit and make it more narrow um, rather than wide. Um, but I go in straight with my hand file first to kind of like get a lot of that bulk out of the middle of the nail so it's not like real wide there. Um, also like filing underneath the nail with the hand file to get like some more of that plastic off that I filed. Sometimes a little bit gets left behind. And then I'm just gonna buff over the nails and smooth them out. To finish everything up, I'm gonna go ahead and top coat all the nails and then just place some Swarovski crystals that I got from Michaels um, onto the nails. I'm using like a mix of pink ones and like darker pink ones. And the like really neon pink ones are actually um, neon Swarovskis from Daily Charm. I've had these for a while. Um, I think. Swarovski's have been discontinued. I'm not really sure if that's taken effect yet, but yeah, I guess they're being replaced with some other kind of stone. 
but yeah i've had these for like ever i'm just sticking them into the gel because literally i'm not keeping them on for that long and i'm just gonna like take them off and put them back but yeah if you're using swarskis or any other kind of expensive stones you want to make sure you're using like a really good bling gel for that don't just place them into the top coat because it does last a little while but eventually they'll just like pop off because there's nothing really to like hold them if you know what i mean whereas a bling gel it's real thick and like you know they're in that gel once you cure them top coat is a lot thinner if i'm making any sense i'm also top coating underneath the nails since this is a glassy set and top coating underneath will just mask any like you know buffing scratches or anything like that and make everything look nice and clear and that is pretty much it for this set guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you like this set that i created as always let me know what you think in the comments i really like hearing what you guys think about my sets and if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos. I post reviews and tutorials every week. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you do that because I usually post about my upcoming tutorials on there. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Love you guys.